What is up, people? As most of you know, I hate gear, but today we're talking about gear because I think that if gear can really easily make you sound better, we should use it. Some of you all might have seen a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, I put up a video where my rack tom sits in a snare drum stand, and I had heard that there are these foam products that you can put in the snare drum stand and you put your rack tom on top of the foam and it sounds better. I had always wondered, does that actually work? Because I think, in my opinion, a lot of these drum gear things that are out there these days don't really do that much. They're all a little gimmicky, which is fine. You know, some of them are fun to mess around with and whatever, but I think when something claims that it'll make your drums sound better just by putting your tom on top of it, that's a bold statement. So I cut out some foam and I kind of did a homemade test of does foam even really affect the drums that much? And it did. If you will watch, if you've watched that video, you know just as well as I do that the foam made the rack tom sound way more resonant, way better. And I actually had TNR, the company that makes the little booty shakers, which is the product I was talking about. They actually reached out to me recently and they said, hey, saw your video. We love that you're experimenting. We'd love to send you our product for you to check out to see if it works better or whatever. So I said, man, that's super kind of you. Thanks so much. So they sent me little booty shakers, which are the things that go in the rack tom or in the snare stand that the rack tom goes on. And they sent me the original booty shakers, which are things that you put on your floor tom legs. And it's supposed to help resonance and help control the sound of your floor tom. So basically what I want to do today is test out, do these... Do these work any better than the foam that I did in my rack tom? Since I already did a video about whether or not rack toms sound better if you use foam, um, this isn't necessarily going to be totally about that, but it's going to be, do these TNR products actually sound better than the foam that I had in my rack tom snare stand? And for the floor tom, does it actually affect, you know, the sound? Disclaimer, I have carpet in my studio and uh, I was talking to the team at TNR and they actually said that, you know, the floor tom, if you're already on carpet, the floor tom, the booty shakers on the floor tom are actually not probably going to be as noticeable in what they do. But um, I guess we'll just see for ourselves. So here's the kit before putting any of the TNR products. I have no foam in the rack tom stand. I have no booty shakers on the floor tom. This is just exactly like I had been doing it. Rack tom is sitting right in the snare stand and the floor tom's just sitting on the carpet. Now, what I'll do is I'll put the booty shakers on, but I'll put the little booty shakers on the snare drum stand, put the rack tom back in, and I'll put the booty shakers on the floor tom and we'll see if there's a difference. <laughs>
So to my ears, there is a huge difference in the rack tom. One million percent. And so I made those, the foam things that I cut out for my other YouTube video for free because I had foam lying around. But a couple things about that, because some of you might be saying, well, I can just put foam in my rack tom like you did in that other YouTube video. Which is true. If you have foam lying around, this is high density foam. It's not really going to do a bunch if you don't have high density foam. So if you if if you need to go out and buy high density foam, you're going to look you're looking at the cost of what these TNR products actually cost anyway. So to me it would be smarter instead of trying to make it yourself if you don't have any foam lying around, just buy these cuz they work great. Um, the second thing is they've taken a really good care and they've really thought about how to make these things attach super easily to a snare stand. The foam stuff I made was attached by zip ties, which worked, but I definitely can't remove those without cutting them and needing new zip ties, and they were ugly, and they actually didn't fit that well, and they muted the bottom head a little bit. So, well, yes, I guess I could maybe make these at home. These, like, are really great, fit on the snare stand really easily, and immediately make your rack tom sound a million times better. So, the little booty shakers, to me, are an A+. They're amazing. In my studio with the carpet, I, I'm not sure the booty shakers on the floor tom do a whole lot. I think there might be something, but if, if there is, it's really, 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 really not that noticeable. Um, so I'm going to really quick just go try out. Uh, I'm going to move my floor tom to a spot in my house where I have hardwood and see if that works. I brought my floor tom down to my foyer where there's hardwood, and this room sounds horrible because it's a straight up cube and there's a bunch of reflections or whatever, but I should be able to at least get the gist of whether or not these things help when you have like hard wood. All right, right now there are no booty shakers on the floor tom. Let's hear how it sounds. This is gonna sound terrible because I'm just using the mic on the camera. All right, now I'm gonna apply these booty shakers. All right, now I'm gonna try it again. Booty shakers are down there. Again, this is not an ideal test because this room sounds terrible. I think they worked a little bit. Definitely not as noticeable as, and I mean, I, this is not under a proper microphone, but um, the crazy thing about the little booty shakers that go in the rack tom stand is you can instantly notice how much better they make the tom sound and how much more sustain it gives it. And with this, it's definitely not nearly that dramatic of an effect. Little booty shakers, 100 million percent, they're amazing. The original booty shakers, I do think they actually on the hardwood do uh, something, but definitely not as dramatic of an effect as the little booty shakers. But I think it also really depends on the room you're in and the mics you're using and your recording setup. But both of these things are definitely worth a try especially the little booty shakers. That is absolutely worth every single penny that you will ever pay. It, it the, the difference it makes in the rack tom is like hilarious. Like the fact that I was using my rack tom without these for so long seems like I actually literally regret it. There are songs and albums I've played on that I wish I had used these that I will now use on every record I do because it just makes the tom sound so much better. That's all, this isn't a paid thing. They did send me this product, but this isn't like they're not paying me to do this. These are products that someone offers that I wanted to test out and then they were kind enough to send them to me. Um, and I think that that's worth posting about and worth you know having the experiment and setting this stuff up and seeing if it works thank you tnr for sending this stuff over uh, these things are great put in the comments below what you think what sounds better did the rack tom really sound that much better did you hear the a difference in the floor tom let me know what you thought in the comments if you like this video you can always hit subscribe ding the notification bell so you'll see every video i come out with that's it for me tnr thank you so much for sending me this stuff and making this stuff and taking the time and do all that um you guys are awesome, and um, I'll see you on the next one.